morning guys it is a Wednesday morning and yeah today I slept in got up at 6 took off around 7 loaded up the boat I've got an hour and 45 minutes to where I'm fishing today which is Lake Comanche haven't been here since the KBF event in February I am off to Comanche today not only for fishing but tonight I will be going to Lodi at Headwaters Kayak which is only about 40 minutes from Comanche I'll be joining the rest of the Dark Horse crew Obi Mike Alden and we will be doing a informal seminar at Headwaters talking about kayak fishing. Kayak bass fishing is blowing up around the country and especially here in Northern California. That's kind of why we're doing the informal seminar tonight. It's going to be going live on Headwaters Facebook page uh, but just to kind of talk getting into it and some basics and to answer some questions. Probably get to Comanche around nine o'clock now. One really exciting thing about Comanche is that it's probably the one lake that has had the most reported double digits or even teen, teener fish. A 15 pounder was caught this past winter. So that's just exciting knowing you're fishing a body of water with that kind of quality in it. Yeah, we're just gonna have some fun today, fish. Probably get off the water around 4.30 and try to get to headwaters around five o'clock. That is the plan today. And I will see you guys when we get to Comanche. Well guys, we have made it on the water. A little overcast today. Probably about 65, 66 air temps. Based on what I know and what I've learned from others, those trophy largemouth, talking 10 plus pounds, they're really only caught on two different baits. Those giant fish, they are, they're old, they're wise. Most of what I've seen in that class has either been caught on something super finessey or a big swim bait. So game plan today, throw the drop shot, throw the ganterelle, and hopefully we can connect with a good one. As you probably know if you've been watching my videos lately, swim bait of choice and pretty much the only swim bait I have, other than some huds, is the ganterelle. Bluegill color, switched it up. Man, it's crazy. Last time we were here, back in February, I fished these islands up north. These islands are all underwater, and you can just see like the tops of these trees. These things though about uh, this high water, for me personally, is I know what's kind of underneath me. Just a little more familiar with what I'm fishing. I can see what's below me. Definitely grabbing some fish here. start. Show you guys something. Good news travels fast. That fish I just caught, this entire everything in front of me right here was completely bare in February. This is all land right here. I think the water level's up about 10 feet from February. Gantorel, baby. Gantorel, my God.
That stings. Oh, there's a giant with it. Oh my god, there was a giant. Kind of small, but... guys that was a very okay day of fishing caught numbers just couldn't well I had one fish that was pretty big on and that jumped off which kind of sucked but didn't really catch anything big so it was just a very okay day of fishing that lake definitely has giants in it and uh, they have still eluded me now we are off to headwaters kayak it's about 5 45 should be there in the next 15 minutes I'm gonna meet up with the guys I'm gonna do a little Q&A on headwaters uh, Facebook live page and just talk kayak fishing so should be a good time and um, I'll see you guys when I get there. Me and my, my family and I, we go camping all the time and bring kayaks. It's just a good way to get people together. It's a good feeling. The kids love it. We love it. It's something that should be shared. Everywhere I go, I bring the same stuff. I have the same crate I made. I bring all my baits with me everywhere I go. I have this phobia of getting somewhere and a bite going off and running through plastics. And I've had it happen before, not so much with the plastics, but with hard baits. So I bring it. I bring everything with me, which is probably not a good thing because my boat weighs like 2,000 pounds. <laughs> with me, it's all about confidence. So I got confidence lures. I'm not changing any type of gear or any of that. I might go out deeper, shallower, a different, a different point, different section of the lake. You got to go out there when, you, not, when it's not game time and develop that confidence in those lures. That's the only way you, you're going to get to that level. If you got confidence in the swim bay, top water, this, that, and the third, then you got a whole arsenal that you can switch to that you do have confidence in to keep it going. And I got confidence all those because I've been out practicing and actually caught fish on these particular lures. And that's... That's the biggest thing to me in fishing is confidence. Everyone online, we're all new at one point. We've all been new at some point, and you know, to those of you who might be like, I'm not sure if I want to jump into it, I'm kind of nervous about it or anything like that. I don't know anyone, that's a big thing. Last year when I came out the first time and, and hung out with everyone, I was on crutches. You know, I, I came out and, and just to hang out, and everyone immediately came up, regardless of being on crutches. People came up, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm Adam, I'm Abel, I'm... And how long were you fish a bait uh, before you switched it up? For me, actually, this is what, I don't know if you guys watch, you probably watch Flip Master on YouTube, but he said this the other day, he answered this question on his live stream, and it's the exact same thing for me. I stopped fishing a bait when I lose confidence in it. When I feel in my gut, this just isn't working, this is not the thing, I put it down. You have to have experience, but I think some of the best anglers out there know when to you know lay it down and pick up a different bait, try a different technique. All you need to do is have a good time. You have a good time, you just let the rest happen, you know? And even if you lose, don't just put the kayak on your truck and then take off. You gotta stick around, because who always at the end? The guys who won. The guys who did good. Those are the guys who always linger and think they gotta get their they money. I stick around, <laughs> you know, they gotta get their money. So when you sticking around, you just listening. Um, he excited, got the money. Man, I tell you, man, that's, 
That, that's bitter, babe. We're hard in the morning. You was all there all day like, that's what it was. Go out the next day with your spitter, babe. Boom. You wouldn't have got that if you left early. Took my, took my lickings, but now I learned something. And I said, I was the master of just being around guys like this. <laughs> listening. I was listening and listening, and I applied it. And, and that's why I tell guys, you can't be discouraged, man. But this, this, is, this is definitely it. I'm glad you're a part of this.